Hi everybody, this is Bonnie and today I am doing my Snowflake Showcase cards. If you joined my club for the month of um, December or October, then um, they had this special where you got the snowflakes and then you got the thinlets and um, they got, let me get the other set. If you bought these three sets from me, um, or if you bought two, you got the kit for free, the cards for free. I can't talk. I haven't done a video in so long. I feel like I'm tongue-tied here. But um, So anyways, I'm doing the videos for them. They get four cards, and part of that is to have videos for them. So I am doing the videos. So let's get started. The first one, the card number one, is going to be this card right here. I just love the way this card came out and how it sparkles and everything. Now, you will get everything in your kit that you need to make two of these cards. Um, you will uh, need to do your own stamping. That's why you had to have your stamps and your die cutting. Um, everything else, if it needed to be punched because you didn't have the punch, I punched it. It, because it wasn't included in the kit or if it needed to be embossed with an embosser that I had I embossed it but um otherwise that you had to have well, had no stamping and you get to use your die cuts and you have the supplies to do that so let's get started on this card Whew. I should tell you I've been having to do these for a while but my camera died so I ordered a new camera and when I ordered the camera the um it was the wrong camera so i ended up having to go and re send that one back and get a different camera so i'm just getting my camera so i'm just getting this stuff done so in your kit you'll this is enough for me to do one card but you'll get enough to do two you get your um base which is 11 by four and a quarter and then this is pool party and this is four by five and a quarter. You'll get um, some of the glitter paper. You'll get two strips of this. I'm not even sure how big this is. Let me see here. It's two inches by six. So you'll get two of them. And then you'll get uh, your punched gray piece. And then I think I put like three or four of these in there in case you made a mistake uh, stamping. And then you will have your gems to put on where the gems go, which we'll show you. So first thing we're going to do is we I'm using the Stamparatus, but you don't have to. Any stamping um, device that you have, blocks, whatever. I just find that for this one, I like the Stamparatus because it lines it up um, quite nicely. If you have the pool party and I'm putting it up in the corner... And then I am going to take my tree here. I'm going to put my tree right about there. And then I'm going to clean this off. Whew. This is just uh, like a chamois. And you just wet it with water. And then you wipe your stamps up with it. I absolutely love it. You don't have crack craft ink because we are going to be doing some embossing you can um go ahead and use uh versamark so you can do that now i've included in the kit a little bag of some versamark or some white embossing powder i which is more than enough to do your card so you just have to have versamark ink or craft ink now i'm going to use craft ink Ooh, this one got a little bit of stuff on there. I like these little mini pads. You get these little pads in the Paper Pumpkin. Now, if you don't subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, I these they sell these, which are blank ones. Which there's a couple advantages to having these blank ones. The one advantage is the fact that you can try out our inks to see if you like them. You can buy this and put... um 
just some of the reinker in there and try it out and see if you like it. And if you like it, then buy a whole pad of it. I, it's, I love this. But the other advantage to having the little ones is it's nice to get on here when you're stamping this up. And the big ones kind of like tend to get stuff all over and stuff like that. I like the little pads with the um, with the Stamparatus. That's just me, my preference. So um, just wanted to let you know that you can purchase these and put the little reinker in them yourself. Now, craft ink is known to dry up very quickly, as you could tell. I'm putting my hand on here, and it's a little wet, but not much. And they do tend to dry up. So if that's the case, then you definitely want to add a little bit of reinker to it. So I'm going to add a little bit. I think this is the one I used last time, so that's probably why it's not that dried up. And now I'm going to stamp this up in the white here. And if I don't like it the first time, like I said, I can go ahead and do it again. And I'm just going to push this over. I'm going to give it a light push. And I like to give it a little bit more push and give it time. I'm not pushing really hard to give it time to soak into the paper because it's craft ink. Okay, it's a little light down here, so I think I'm going to do it again. Just give it a little bit more. You could just let it dry and just use the craft ink, but um, I wanted it to pop a little bit more, so I ended up embossing it which we'll do that here in just a second. There, and I think that's good. I think my embossing is going to stick to this quite nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to sit it to the side for just a second. I'm going to take this off from here and I'm going to set this aside. And now I'm going to bring in my embossing. And I forgot to use my embossing buddy. I should have used my embossing buddy before I did this so that I wouldn't have embossing everywhere else so that I didn't want it. Now we're going to take the white embossing powder and I'm using a coffee filter and I'm just sprinkling this all over this card. I'm going to give it a little flick. See how nice that came out? It's nice and embossed in there. It's awesome. And then we'll just pour this right back into the container. I love the embossing powder. <sighs> and a coffee filter. Okay. And now I'm going to bring in my embosser. Now when you're using the embosser, they tell you to let it um, warm up for 30 seconds at least before you use it. So I'm going to put it on and you're going to hear a little noise for a little bit. And then we're just going to start to emboss. And you'll slowly, I don't know if you can see, I'll kind of try to raise it up a little bit so you guys can see it. You'll start to see it changing. It just melting away there. Isn't that cool? It's like magic. I just love it. This does get quite hot, so. And it heats up quite quickly. I just have to tip it my way to make sure I'm seeing it. Okay. And that's the end with the embossing. So it's just like. Early Espresso ink or any black or brown ink that you have. This is just what I have, so this is what I'm using. And I gotta get my head in the camera, so sorry. I'm gonna put it right there. Press down, let it absorb into the paper. It looks just like that. So far, this card is coming out pretty good. Okay, now we're going to set this aside, and you're going to get out your framelits, and we're going to get out this long, like, swirly 
Thinlet Framelit. And then, um, let me see here. I'm going to get the Big Shot. I'm going to bring that in. Okay. And then in your kit, you're going to have two of these. And they're two inches by six inches. And you're going to put it down on your Big Shot. Now, I have a magnetic platform. And then I have a regular uh, paper plate or paper plate, <laughs> plastic plate. Then I'm gonna put the glitter paper, the silver glitter paper, and then I'm gonna put this little guy on here. As you can see, you have a little extra, so you can make other snowflakes out of your kits and around, run them through. Now when you're going through the glitter paper, because it is like a thicker, more grittery, gritter, grittery, I don't even know if that's a word. It's a thicker paper, so I would run it through twice. So I ran it through once, and now this will be my second time. And then back through. So that way, you definitely know that it is going to cut out really well for you. So get this out of the way. Now I have glitter everywhere. Okay. And then this will peel right off. And you can see it right there in the back. It might even come off the thing without... See, it did. Look at that. And then we'll just pop this out. And like I said, you'll have all this extra, like, um, paper. And just be careful. This is a little delicate. So you don't want to just, like, yank on it. It's a little delicate, uh, delicate piece here. Alright, so we have this. And then if you um, have a pokey tool, I call them pokey tools or piercers, and there's some little pieces that you got to poke out. <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this to the card. What I did was I did not throw scissors across the floor. <laughs> what I did was I just went ahead and I cut it right about here. So like that. And I put this one here so it swirls that way. And then, oh, you know what? I cut this upside down. So we're going to reverse it. That's okay. If When I cut my first one, when you saw me run that, I put it on, oh, now i got to explain this to you guys. <laughs> when I did my original card, I put this on this way, so it made the swirl go one way. When I just did it this time, I put it on this way, so it made the swirl go the other way. It's no right or wrong, it just depends if you want it on the left or if you want it on the right. It's not a big deal. I'm happy with it just the way this is. So I'm just going to keep going and finish the card off. So then I just went ahead and I'm going to use some Tombow Liquid Glue or you can use whatever uh, wonderful adhesive that you have. I'm getting the word joy out of this kit, out of the snow is glistening. I got a block right here. Let's stamp this up. And I used Pool Party. And in your kit, I gave you a couple of these um, ovals in case you made a mistake. You have a few. I gave you a few. I don't even know how many. Um, I just kept punching away. <laughs> I'm just going to stamp this up. I'm going to stamp it right in the center, hopefully. There we go. I like that. And then I went ahead and I took some... Oh, here they are. Got some Stampin' Dimensional. These. Peel them up. that right there and then I took my um, let's 
now. I took this and I put it here. And put it just like this. Okay. And then I should put this on the base. <laughs> Here's the base card. This base card is 11 by 4 and a quarter, and you're going to score it at 5 and a half. You can use the big score if you want, but I just find that the little score buddy works for me. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply this to there. You can use liquid glue, whatever he's, but for me, for the purpose of the video, it's just as quick to use the snail. I'm going to put this down. And then you got these um, gems. And on here, I'm going to use the uh, multi purpose tool. I'm just going to pick up these gems. I'm going to put one right here. In your kit, there's an embellishment kit. Is what it, in the little in the bag you'll all get this bag full of embellishments that are for all the cards, and you'll have them in there. And you'll use three on each card for this. So there is the card, the one that I just did with you. Here's the one I did earlier, and you see how I have the swirl going this way. And then I have the swirl going that way. And it just all depends on if you cut, like I said, if you cut the paper this way or if you cut it this way. So um, it's whatever you prefer. But that is the card number one in the Snowflake um, Showcase class. So thanks for stopping by, everybody. Bye-bye.